According to the latest report, podcast and chill host Mac G has been sued by Nkosa Zana daughter for 13 million rands. 13 million rands, man. That is a lot of millions. 13 to be specific. Now, this comes after Mac G made some remarks about her baby and I suppose the father of Nkosa Zana daughter's baby. Now, these particular remarks, disparaging remarks, if you want to call them that, were made by Mac G all the way back in July of 2024. And it seems like Nkosa Zana daughter has not let them go. Now, we definitely will get into the remarks themselves. But yeah, the musician Nkosa Zana daughter was subject to a discussion on Mac G's podcast and chill as he made speculations about Nkosa Zana daughter's personal life. Now, Nkosa Zana daughter has taken legal action according to the latest report from Sunday World and people have definitely come through on social media and shared their thoughts on Nkosa Zana Daughter's mission to take on Mac G the legal route. So yes, it does seem that Nkosa Zana Daughter wants to meet Mac G in court. So taking a look at what Mac G said specifically, this is the video video clip that was shared on social media of that uh, segment on the podcast and chill episode that took place in July of this year. See them that I don't know. I'm just saying this is Hey, speaking about babies, man. Crazy thing I heard this week. I don't know who told me, mm -hmm. but someone in Botswana told me, uh, and they very close to Nkosana daughter. Apparently, that's not um, who's the guy? Sir Chul's kid. Hey, hey. It's Master KG's kid, bro. Ah, <laughs> hey. I kid you not, bro. I kid you not. I kid you not. Ah, yes. 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 She was a surrogate. Ruma! For what? Eh, 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 Oh, okay. I kid you not. That is what was said. Well, what's discussed by Mac G, Soul Penuga, and Ghost Lady on that particular episode. So, according to what Mac G claims to have heard all the way in Botswana about Gosazana daughter's baby, it is the father of the baby is not so true as a lot of people seem to believe in, as a lot of the reports seem to have pointed to, you know, back at the time when uh, she was pregnant. But according to Mac G's source, the baby is apparently Master K. KG, not Sir Trills. As you would imagine, around the time, Sir Trill, as well as Master KG and Ngosazana daughter, trended on social media. People came through with their own speculations. Hey, people came through with pictures, started looking at the baby's picture and looking at Master KG, looking at Sir Trill, putting two and two together as they usually do. You know, the social media detectives. So going back to the Sunday World article, well, according to Sunday World, Mac G is now subject to a lawsuit by Nkosazana daughter after the podcast and show host said that her child's biological father was not so true as you heard in that video. Now, in response to this, of course, Nkosazana daughter has reportedly tried to sue Mac G for 13 million rand. Now, when it comes to the 13 million rand itself, personally, I was curious exactly how did Nkosazana daughter and her legal team come up with that particular figure if that is the correct figure i mean 13 million rand seems a little bit excessive it seems like it is a lot now according to the south african law though damages for defamation have been between around 200,000 to 500,000 rands here in south africa and a very popular case that i'm sure a lot of you might know about or heard about is bonang suing ria hopane for saying that uh, she allegedly uh you know, take some stuff, some uh, substances, abuses some substances. Now, when it comes to that particular case, it was successful. So there, for those people that are thinking that, you know what, these particular cases get thrown out uh, or swept under the rug, when it comes to Bonang and her case against Ria Hopane, it seems like that one went through, it was successful. And according to the reports, Ria Hopane didn't have the amount that he was sued for. So he has been paying that amount off in installments, like he's buying a car or a house. I will say this, I do wonder if Ria Hupane has checked the balance when it comes to that particular debt that he has uh, got himself into. 
But getting back to Mac G and Kosasana Dota, I do recall at the time, I definitely did do a video around the time because it was an odd time when it comes to podcasting, chill, Mac G, as well as Nkosasana Dota. I do believe that uh, maybe in a prior episode, Mac G did declare that he has a crush on Kosasana Dota. I don't, I don't have a crush on most uh, girls in the industry, but the first time I met Kosasana, oh my word. I remember she I took there. my breath away, man. She's so gorgeous. She's like beautiful. outside and inside. Like she's Kosa just Zana's a beautiful, beautiful man. human being, man. Like, oh man. Do you think Sir Troll uh, uh fumbled? I think he did, man. But sometimes we always say that, right? But Lamanta Bakas Bas Bazana. Nah, but she's woman material. Like she's she like, is, but Asas What's woman material? Like, for, like Kosa Zana. Wait. Kosa Zana. <laughs> mention people. Wait, but wait, like, wait, wait, what's woman material? Kosa Zana. Okay. Do keep in mind that Mac G is a married man coming through on his podcast saying that he has a crush on another woman. People ran their own stories, ran their own narratives about that. Uh, but personally, it was just one of those times where Mac G seemed to be speaking about Nkosa's and a daughter. And then the next thing, he does a 360 and then talks about what you heard over there. Well, you've definitely heard what I had to say about it. So taking a look at some of the comments on social media, one user wrote, there's no case here. There was a lot of disclaimers, including your allegedlies and rumors. I heard it from a friend, etc. So I don't think this case will go on that long. Now, I'm not a lawyer give you my personal disclaimer my allegedly and my rumor and speculation is that i am not a lawyer but i don't think that allegedly or saying allegedly and rumors kind of gets you off the hook at the end of the day if he's saying that he heard it from a friend i'd assume that if this case is being taken up he'd have to go and get that particular friend but hey like i said i'm not a lawyer and i suppose time will tell when it comes to this one Another user came through and posted this image and captioned it, imagine if they do a DNA and it comes back negative, which would be an interesting outcome when it comes to this. Imagine if they really did do a DNA test on Kosa's and daughter's child and they found that Sir Trill was not really the biological father. Will then Mac G get sued? Another user wrote, I understand wanting to sue, but 13 million EU, which is what I said. I've mentioned it a little bit here, but uh, 13 million does seem like a very excessive amount of money to be suing for. But as I also did mention, the sum that people usually get sued for here in South Africa is between 300,000 and 500,000 rands. Another user wrote, Ish Mac Giliena. From these statements he made, Gosazana stands a good chance of winning the lawsuit, saying allegedly does not protect you from a suit altogether. If the statement is still defamatory, harmful, or you are using it to disguise an assertion you believe is true. Which is a very interesting comment from this particular user over there. I don't know if he's a lawyer or if this is actual legal advice, but from me reading it, it does seem true. And it does seem to make sense, a lot of sense to me anyways. But yeah, moving right along, another user posted this particular image and captioned it. That means it must be true. That's the only explanation. So according to this particular user, the reason why Nkosazana daughter is suing is because what MacG said was true. Now, another user, not that to be specific, posted the following. Mac G is in serious trouble. He needs to negotiate an out-of-court settlement because no judge will have mercy on his business. He was asked to retract and was not only defiant, but arrogant. I could refer him to the team that represented if he's willing to put down a 300,000 rand deposit. So yeah, according to Nota, Mac G is in serious trouble and uh, no judge will take mercy on his business, his business being the podcast and chill network. Now, he also does say something over there that uh, Mac G was asked to retract his statement, but he was defiant and arrogant when it came to that. Now, when it comes to Mac G being asked to give a retraction, I will say this, I personally don't recall that. What I do recall is Nkosa's Anna daughter did go on on a social media rant. She posted the following on uh, X. We have families at home like you that watch these things you say. As for my relationship with Sir Trill was never a secret but private. Even before you knew me. The next one reads all this for views. I'm so disappointed at how low people can go and not to mention how women are so disrespected in the industry. It is so unfortunate that you will never see the amount of work that we have put out because I'm female. I must be sleeping with him. Disgusting. 
I assure you big time, my relation with Master KG is not romantic or sexual. Like I said before, KG and I only work together, but it's like there's people trying to convince you that there is more and there is no such thing. Now, when it comes to this particular thread from Gosazana daughter, this is what Mac G had to say on his podcast and chill episode. Ah, bullshit, man. Bullshit. What do you mean saying bullshit? Come on now. Why yeah. is she doing the victim card, bro? No, this thing is she, simple. It, yeah. This thing is simple. Okay. If I'm lying, sue me. Done. Sue me. And I would love it if she sues me because then we'll know who the real father is. <laughs> She'd have to prove it in the court of law. Oh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> now she's playing the victim card. Eh? Female or ah, fuck out of here, man. So, on a team. She will sue me if I'm lying, dog. Ah, yeah, but yeah, yeah that makes sense. But if what's it alleged? Lying, but wait, Mac. What's it? Okay, because you said someone told you. Yes. So, obviously, it's an alleged thing. Like, yeah, you just find out from someone source. close, from a credible source, whatever is yeah. said. A uh, credible source from Sir Trill's camp. Well, you know what? She actually did sue him. And I suppose that brings us full circle to where we are now with that particular Sunday World Report that Mac G is facing a 13 million rand lawsuit from Kosazana daughter. So yeah, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what do you guys think about this whole drama that is unfolding before our eyes. Please go follow her right now. I pinned her handle right now. Please go follow her. She's too much. No talent deserves to be known. Me, I'm all about that. It's too much. Please do it. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.